so here I am once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today I am going to uh, attempt a missed approach and the airport that I've chosen for this video today is Abu Dhabi Airport one of my favorite airports I think in the last five years I've been here more than 200 times in real life I've been flying through it hard a lot um, very nice airport uh, good facilities uh, so one of my favorite airports that's why I uh, chose this airport for this video today and uh, we're going to attempt a missed approach because in Microsoft Flight Simulator it's really difficult uh, to land the plane. I don't know. I find it a bit difficult. I had some bad landings. I'm very bad at landings. You must have seen my explain 11 videos and Microsoft Flight Simulator videos as well. Uh, I'm bad at landings but not that uh, bad <laughs> because my plane keeps on bouncing like a tennis ball on the runway once I touch the runway. Uh, so uh, I practiced the missed approach thing that if you missed an approach, what is the procedure and how to land back at the runway. Uh, so right now I'm descending um, 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 descending to Abu Dhabi airport and uh, let's uh, check the navigation radio. Let's go over here. I'm using the default 787 and uh, this uh, video is only for the simulation purpose. Nothing to do with real life. Maybe real life procedures are different. I will just only follow the procedures which, has, which are given there in the simulator. I'm not going to open any approach plate or airport charts. So I am going to land on runway 13 right at Abu Dhabi International Airport. OMAA is the ICAO code for the airport. Uh, this is the ILS frequency, 109.15, which is already there in the system. The best part about Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, that you uh, get the ILS. The course for the runway is 128 degrees, and this is required for this video. Uh, you will see in the later stages of this video that why do we need the heading. Uh, so let's enter this uh, heading over here, 128. And I will just uh, go with the basics. Okay. So you can see uh, this dotted line, which is indicating the heading that uh, once you turn on your heading selector is aligned with the runway. This is the runway. This is the final approach. And uh, right now you can see we are approaching. Let's zoom in a bit. So one, two, maybe three more turns. And then we are aligned with the runway for an ILS approach, but definitely we're going to miss it deliberately. Uh, so we have set the heading to 128 because once we miss the approach, we will activate the autopilot and uh, we will fly in this direction straight out of the airport and then we will ask uh, the radio for the next waypoints so that we can uh, perform a way around, uh, turn around and come back and land at this runway again. Uh, we can also select another runway for the landing but uh, after missing the approach, I will be using 13 right again to land. So this is the basic. Everything is looking good so far. We are descending. Uh, the speed is high. Uh, we are at 15,000 altitude. Uh, so let's uh, reduce the speed. Let's uh, take it to 240. Because the, uh, the turns are very sharp. Uh, so you don't want to miss the turn at a high speed. So that's why you have to reduce the speed so that you can take this turn and land the plane. Okay, it's time to descend, so let's uh, set the altitude to 7000. We're going to follow all the instructions as given by the radio. Boeing 787, did you copy? Yes, I did. Thank you. Descend and maintain you have to look at the speed. You have to set, uh, set your vertical speed in such a way that the speed keeps on reducing. Otherwise, you need flaps or, or spoilers for, the, for uh, reducing the speed. Hmm, speed is kind of stuck at 290. Uh, so let's adjust the speed. We have time. In any case, we are going for a missed approach. We know we are going to miss the approach, so it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> so let's uh, take it up. And uh, let's wait for the... 
speed to reduce and let's lower the flap by one notch maybe this will also help us reducing the speed okay this error is over speeding because the speed is over here in this red region we have to keep it below the red mark my flaps are down by two notches so not my flaps <laughs> the plane flaps <laughs> okay so a big turn over here because of uh, the high speed we are coming in for a uh, missed approach so everything is going to go bad so nothing is working right for us right now descend and maintain 5000 Okay, so this is the final approach. Boeing 787 descend and maintain 4,000 feet. 4,000 feet further. I think let's reduce the speed further to 210. Okay. So flaps are now at... Uh, 15 speed is set to 210 knots let's acknowledge the approach descend and maintain 4000 feet expect ILS runway 1 tree right approach via MSIC transition clear to MSIC Boeing 787 I like to fly Boeing 787 uh, during the sunset and then in the night because you know the heads up display really works fine um, in the low light. In the morning, you cannot see anything. You cannot even adjust the brightness. I think there is this limitation. Uh, where is... Uh, let's increase the brightness. We don't need this. Nice and cozy cockpit. So we are descending to 4,000 feet. Flaps are down. Let's further increase the vertical speed. Okay, let's acknowledge. Going to one tree, two decimal, six, seven, five, Boeing 787. I'm handling the radio communication myself. I haven't turned down uh, this uh, option, the AI option, or because once we miss the approach, we have to tell the tower that we have missed the approach and we have then have to perform the missed approach procedures. In x 11, I, I remember there were a few routes on which um, uh, when you populate uh, the flight planning in the FMS, in the flight management system or the MCDU, uh, the missed approach procedure is already given. So nothing to worry about. Once you miss the approach, simply turn on the autopilot and the plane will follow the missed approach procedure. But I think over here in, the, in, the, in, the, in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's not there, but still you can enter that. I'll also try to figure out a way how to do that in order to have a missed approach procedure approach already entered into the system. Ultimator 29 of decimal 59. Let's select the barometer 2959. It should be here. And the barometric pressure should be adjusted from here so that we get the right altitude. Otherwise, if your barometric pressure is not right, you will keep on hearing this uh, communication from the tower that you are not at the right altitude. One more uh, basic thing which I would like to touch uh, is that once you approach, um, uh, you miss the approach, the tower will ask you to perform the landing and uh, follow the VOR DME for the 13 right. Now VOR is a very high frequency omnidirectional radio and uh, the planes use it for uh, the navigation purpose. Obviously before the GPS, uh, VOR was one of the best navigation systems used by the planes to, f uh, to find the flight path and to land. At every runway, there is a VOR DME. Once you add a DME with the VOR, it means distance, distance measuring equipment. So it means that uh, not only your plane knows the direction in which uh, the plane should be flying, but also the distance left. Uh, so this 13 right is equipped with a VOR DME. And uh, we have entered the flight uh, information in the FMS. 
the autopilot knows where to go uh, the gps coordinates are there for the every waypoint and for the uh, for the flight path but once we miss it this information is not there in the system so either we should enter this information in the system in order for the autopilot to follow that or we just follow uh, the vor dme um, uh, the tower will give, give us the headings um, uh, to turn around and come back and then follow the vor dme on uh, 13 right so right now i'm not going to complicate the stuff i'm not getting into the vor navigation stuff though those videos are there uh, i've made it for xplain 11 you can just go and watch them and you will know how to carry out a vor navigation but for this uh, video uh, we will ask tower for the headings of uh, um, uh, going around the runway and uh, once we are about to land we will use uh, the heading over here on the screen for the landing so it's very simple we already know the heading for this runway is 128 uh, so if i'm not wrong i've done that before once you miss the approach uh, you will turn right and then you will come back over here some here on this point and then you will turn back again for the missed approach so i think we're going to make an 8 uh, like this yes so this is the path that uh, your tower will tell you um, and obviously these are the basics that i'm touching right now but once we will miss the approach and we'll contact the tower for that we'll come to know flight director is off let's turn on the flight director so this is the runway that we're going to miss Three thousand. We know we're going to miss the approach, but okay. I'm going to acknowledge. Thank you very much. Descend and maintain three thousand feet, Boeing seven eight seven. So I know I'm going to miss the approach, but still I'm. performing a proper landing i'm just pretending that i'm going to perform a proper landing but just at the moment i'll just uh, pull back on the stick and i'll uh, just try to miss the approach not try i will really miss the approach let's turn on the lights oh the lights are already on turn off on okay let's okay so all of the lights are on Let's go outside and check. Yes, lights are on. Okay, so everything is good. Let's lower the gears. Boeing seven eight seven, you are one four miles northwest of Abu Dhabi. Contact Abu Dhabi Tower on one two zero decimal four two five when inbound. Okay, so the gears are out right now. This is the runway, and. Uh, Now before the landing Hmm yeah I think this is the proper height Boeing 787 please acknowledge One thing I figured out in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator is uh, adjusting uh, the height of your view the point of view uh, in in the cockpit if your height is way too high it's if if you are just like if you set your height over here or here here maybe you have a chances of missing the runway so you have to be i think somewhere roughly it's like this the default view you can properly see the runway because um what i've seen is this that you know experienced pilots obviously they know the perspective they are sitting right in the plane they can see the runway but uh, what i've experienced in is this that in uh, flight simulators if your height is not properly set in the cockpit uh your perspective uh for the runway is not correct and you might come in very fast or very slow or you might miss the runway so you have to be at the right height in the in the cockpit so that you can keep an eye on the runway and you know how to perform the landing i wish i hope i'm i was clear so right now i'm at the perfect height let's uh, contact abu dhabi tower having a cup of tea right now right 
So I've adjusted the barometer pressure uh, due to which the altimeter has set. And uh, oops, let's go down further to 1000. This is uh, the, these two diamonds are for the eyeless. I've covered the basics in one of my videos for the Boeing 787. So if you've not watched those videos, I would recommend. Did you yes, I did. Thank you. Cleared ILS runway one tree right approach Boeing 787. 2587 cleared to land runway one tree right. So we've got the clearance to land. Acknowledge landing clearance. Let's press this. Once this diamond is in the middle, press the approach. Then the autopilot will automatically follow the glide slope. And we'll try to land auto brakes maximum. Flaps are down. Speed is good. Should not be more than 140. To reduce the speed, let's go for the full flaps. Hmm. Anyhow, we're going to miss the approach, so no hunt. I don't care if the speed is high. Let's apply the spoilers to reduce the speed. Speed. Hmm. Okay, so time to release the spoilers. Speed is high. Anyhow, this is the perfect ingredient for a missed approach. Disengage the autopilot. Let's say I am going to land the plane myself. I've disengaged the auto throttle and I'm trying to control the speed. We are at the right angle, so. So let's say we were attempting it to land. So by the way, I think I can land this time. <laughs> Speed is slightly high, but I think I can land. But I'm not going to land. So let's say you've missed the runway and you decided to pull back. Pull back on the stick, give full power to the engines. And once the plane starts to climb, raise the gears flaps we have to retract the flaps because uh, the flaps create a drag and the speed will not increase we need some speed right now there's this warning and uh, declare missed approach turn on the auto throttles turn on the autopilot you have to increase the speed I should have done that before So auto throttle is there, acknowledge handoff. Now we are going to going attempt to, one, to three, two decimal, six, seven, five, Boeing, seven, eight, seven. increase the altitude to 3000. We should have uh, done this before as well. Let's climb. As we are below. 10,000 so that's why I will not go more than 240 knots Oops. plane is climbing report missed approach approach Boeing Alpha Sierra X-ray 787 flying the Abu Dhabi ILS runway one tree right published missed approach heading so now we are holding the heading 128 degrees. So we are already climbing to 4000. Request vector to the next waypoint. Approach Boeing Alpha Sierra X-ray 787 requesting vector to next waypoint. Boeing 787 turn left heading 125 climb and maintain 4000 feet. 
one, two, five. Now you must have noticed that in the autopilot, I have actually disengaged the LNAV option and now we are flying uh, based on the heading. Heading select on 125 degrees. 4,000 feet. Turn left heading 125 climb and maintain 4,000 feet Boeing 787. Approach Boeing Alpha Sierra X-ray 787 requesting vector to next waypoint. Boeing 787 turn left heading 305. 305. Turn left, I should have uh, 305. I turned right. Boeing 787, acknowledge last transmission. Uh, let's turn left. <laughs> you know, you can also reach 305 from the left side. 305. And you can also approach 305 from the right side. But as the tower said, 3 and 5 from the left, so we are going for... Boeing 787, please acknowledge. We acknowledge. Turn left heading 305, Boeing 787. Oops, I messed up with the bank. Okay. The port finished with missed approach. Okay, uh, a few days back when I was uh, trying the missed approach, it was giving me uh, uh, the viewer DME for 13 right, but now we are going for 13 left. So that's why we can attempt uh, an ILS on 13 left. That's why it's not uh, asking me for a viewer DME. Initially, we were trying to land on 13 uh, right. Now the 13 left and uh, cleared to IMSIC, Boeing 787. Now we are turning back towards the runway as told you before. Few things I must have missed. Excuse me for that because I'm also learning. I'm also trying new things. And my videos are totally for the, for the beginners, not for the expert people. Because obviously experts won't be watching these videos. They will be trying things on their own and Boeing might be... I think we have to. I did that before. Anyhow, so either I can speak or I can fly the plane. <laughs> okay, so now we are climbing to 5,000 feet, heading towards 305 degrees. And we see the runway. Where is the runway? Somewhere here. Yes. Now we can see them. So here's the runway. So I think we'll just go straight like this and then come back for 13 lift. And if at any time, if you think, uh, uh, if you're wondering where to go, just request vector to the next waypoint. Alpha Sierra X -ray 787 requesting vector to next waypoint. Boeing 787 continue to MZIC turning and following heading 275. Heading 275. Now heading 275. Continue to MZIC turning and following heading 275, Boeing 787.
So the speed is 210. We have, we are uh, right now at 5,000 feet, the altitude. Okay, so now we are moving towards 275. So I think we'll come like this. I'm not uh, referring to the airport charts right now because I don't want to complicate stuff over here just for the bigness and for the, for the newbies. Otherwise, uh, there are airport charts available on the internet and on those airport charts there is an approach plate and plus procedure for the missed approach. So you can even refer to those charts and perform uh, a missed approach and then come back and land again. So I'm not using that, I'm just relying on the video communication uh, which is there in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, just relying on the tower and just uh, uh, following the instructions. So right now it asked me to uh, to continue the flight to Imzig. So if I keep on moving to Imzig, where is Imzig? This one. This is Imzig over here. So I think it will it will bring us back over here on this point because this is the uh, runway, uh, thirteen right, thirteen right, one oh nine. Select another runway for landing. L let's select runway thirteen right. Okay, it's weird. Just yep. Let's change the runway. Let's not go for left. Let's uh, request runway from controller. So I think it's good. And you can see uh, the, fi the approach and, 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 and the final approach is already there in the, in the flight management system. You can see it on the ND, the navigation display. So now we can acknowledge the approach. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect ILS runway one tree left approach via IMSIC transition. Sidestep runway one tree right. Clear to IMSIC Boeing 787. Boeing Alpha Sierra X-ray 787 requesting vector to next waypoint. Boeing 787 continue to MZ turning and following heading 335. 335. So let's turn right. <laughs> Why it's terminated? Boeing 7, continue to music. Like, I was, I was just turning around towards heading 335. IFR plan is cancelled. Retry with the last IFR plan. Abu Dhabi approach Boeing Alpha Sierra X-ray 7872 miles north of Oscar Mike Alpha Golf request IFR to Abu Dhabi ready to copy. Let's acknowledge Boeing that. Alpha Sierra X-ray 787 cleared to Abu Dhabi Airport as filed. Squawk 0662. Boeing 787 read back correct. Radar contact 5,000 feet. Altimeter 29 or decimal 5 feet continue to side off turning and following heading 300 climb and maintain 11,000 feet. Heading 300. Let me acknowledge your instructions and Continue to Cybolf turning and following heading 300 climb 11, and maintain 11,000 feet Boeing 787. Boeing 787 contact approach on 132 decimal 675. 132 decimal 
Okay, so I think everything is looking good so far. The approach has asked us to uh, climb to 11,000 feet. Speed is at 210. Maybe we can increase the speed because now... The previous uh, plan was cancelled and we are running a new one. Uh, the previous one. But you can see it over here on the screen. At any point in time, we can turn back and we can just come in from Imzig and, and then just perform another ILS. But uh, we'll uh, just uh, wait for the tower to tell us. Let's check. Requesting vector to the next waypoint. So we are flying into an turning and following heading three zero five. Proceed on course Boeing seven eight seven. Boeing seven eight seven contact Emirates Center on one two four decimal eight five. One two four decimal eight five for Boeing seven eight seven. Emirates Center Boeing Alpha Sierra X ray seven eight seven is climbing through nine thousand two hundred. So altitude is 2000 and we have to go to 085. Now it's time to turn right and go to 085. Boeing 787, did you copy? Yes, I did. Continue to Puba turning and following heading 085, Boeing 787. Now it's turning. So descending. Oops. I did it a few days back. It was working fine, but I don't know. Um, something maybe 
went wrong today. And I really don't have the patience to do this video all over again, but this is how it's done. You just keep on listening to the tower and you know, just uh, follow the, the path. But so far, I think we are going good. I think somewhere at this point, it will ask us to align with the runway. Heading 115. It will obviously take us to 128. Because this is a heading for the runway. Acknowledge instruction. Continue to Puha turning and following heading 115, Boeing 787. Boeing 787 contact approach on 132.675. Okay. So now we're going to tune into approach. You can see that we are now going to get ourselves aligned with the runway. I will not uh, ask for the heading anymore Alpha from the tower. Two nine decimal six zero. Request vector to the next waypoint. We will not. I will now try to align the plane with this with this line. You can see that we are now because now we simply have to align ourselves with the runway. Request another runway for landing. Thirteen right. Let's try with request runway from controller. Approach Boeing seven eight seven would prefer runway one tree right. Boeing seven eight seven, you are two seven miles northwest. Keep speed below two one zero knots. Expect ILS runway one tree left approach via or DAC transition. Sidestep runway one tree right. Clear door DAC. Expect ILS runway one tree left approach via or DAC transition sidestep runway one tree right. Clear to or DAC Boeing 787. Okay, now we're going to align ourselves with this line. Uh, let's increase the heading a bit. Uh, we'll intercept this line and, and at some point we will be aligned with the runway because uh, not going to ask further direction from the approach. Speed is at 210. Flaps are down to 10 degrees. So everything is looking good. We are going to attempt a, uh, another landing. And this time, hopefully, I'm not going to miss the approach. You guys also watch this video. And if you have got any valuable feedback for me, just let me know. As I told you before, I'm also in the learning phase so i'm also learning new things now the tower has asked me to climb up to 3000 so i will climb whatever the tower says you have to listen to it otherwise they will keep on repeating the instructions so let's climb to 3000 yes i did and everybody is listening that i did listen to you climb and maintain 3000 feet boeing 787 okay so we are climbing to 3000 sorry if I've been busy I was just uh, making sure I don't make any mistake if I turn on the V nav L nav right now it will take straight away to runway 30 now let's not take that risk let's align ourselves with the runway using the heading at some point uh, we will intercept this line and then we will so the the main purpose is to intercept this line and the moment we are close to this line we'll just turn to 128 tower again messing up with me so 128 here we go and Yes, I did. Thank you. Descend and maintain two now we are slightly aligned with the runway. It's good. 
I think we are. We are we are aligned with this line. So this trick worked. 128. Yes, we are. And uh, furthermore, when we'll uh, press this approach button, we will be aligned with the runway. So nothing is wrong so far. As I say, everything is looking good. Okay. Let's reduce the speed to 150. Acknowledge the tower on 120 decimal 425 Boeing 787. Okay, so good. We will wait for this diamond to come over here in the middle, and then I will press the APB button, which is the turn approach mode on time for the gears auto brakes set auto brake to 4 to maximum ok so the speed is reducing let's further reduce the speed flaps full because once I'll uh, press this button, the uh, the plane will start to descend more, and the speed will increase. Abu Dhabi Tower, Boeing Alpha Sierra X-ray seven eight seven one one miles northwest inbound ILS runway one three left approach sidestep runway one three right. So I'm using the sidestep. Okay, so it's time to hit the APP button, the approach button. Now the vertically on uh, the plane will, uh, the autopilot will uh, vertically and horizontally align itself with the runway for the final approach. Tune into Abu Dhabi ATIS, declare missed approach, request airport direction. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Now you can see the autopilot is now aligning itself with the gears one forty five let's further reduce the speed to one forty so now you have uh, seen uh, the procedures for the missed approach so if you miss an approach you can always come back uh, though uh, you can see the runway on the screen but it's um, advisable to uh, take the directions from the tower because uh, they direct you in the right direction. You've seen I've been struggling with this information. Uh, and uh, so far, uh, things have worked well for us. The plane didn't crash. We didn't break anything. And we are back. Oh, wow. So I'm clear to land on the 13 right. Acknowledge landing clearance. Wow, we made it. We missed the approach, we turned back, we landed back again on 13 right, and that's how it's done. I'm glad. And uh, there's a video, as I was telling you before, that uh, on my channel, the, which um, incorporates the complete tutorial for a Boeing 787, how to fly on autopilot. Uh, you can just go and watch that video. And... Uh, in this video, I've actually covered the ILS part as well. You've seen how to perform an ILS. You, you can do that. You can practice it. But uh, practice the uh, missed approach procedures. Follow the airport charts. I'll also try to consult a few airport charts next time. Try to make it more technical by incorporating the airport charts. And uh, following the missed approach procedures. gears down flaps down speed is high let's go for the spoilers you can see the speed is reducing 
the moment I'm close to the runway, I'll disengage the autopilot and I'll disengage the auto throttle so that I can control the throttle myself. One fifty, one forty nine. This is the eyeless frequency beep. The eyeless. Just pull back on the stick. Not so hard. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Otherwise, your plane will go up. Reduce it. We did it. Oh, the plane is bouncing like a tennis ball. <laughs> I think I was pushing hard on the stick. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. This one flight you shouldn't be on any of my flights. Uh, the takeoffs are good, but the landings are not good. I think this was the auto brake feature. Wow, we did it. Thank you very much for staying with me. And excuse me if I've made any error. I'm also in the learning phase and I'm learning new things every day. Uh, so this is what I've learned so far. Uh, try to do a missed approach with you guys. And hopefully you would have learned a lot from this. If you have any suggestions, do let me know. Um, if you have any questions, do ask me in the comment section. And hope to see you soon. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.